Mr. Lou, Ted Lou, really brought to the forefront. Yes, there was Russian collusion right now. The right wing is trying to reinvent history that somehow there was no Russian collusion in the election of 2016. I repeat. There was Russian collusion, and that is what not only that is what the 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 uh, report said the the, uh, the Miller, Mueller report. Don't let them fool you unless you are foolable. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. The right wing tries to chip away at the truth until they have sculpted a lie into stone. They tried to do it the 2020 election. They've really tried to do it and had some success with COVID lockdowns. Oh, they were a failure. Oh, they were necessary. And they have tried to do it and had some success with the Mueller investigation into Russian sabotage of the 2016 election. As part of that effort, the House Judiciary Committee heard testimony from, as we mentioned, John Durham this morning, the special counsel appointed under Donald Trump to investigate the people who tried to investigate what Russia did in that election. But Congressman Ted Lieu, Democrat of California, was having none of it. Okay, now, Mr. Durham, Durham, I'd like to ask you the following simple yes or no questions. Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Not Trump's former foreign policy questions. advisor to the campaign, George Papadopoulos, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Trump's former deputy campaign manager, Rick Gates, was convicted, correct? Not in connection with okay. Russia, Trump's. Matt. All right. Mr. Durham, you can hold yourself out as an objective Department of Justice official or as a partisan hack. And the more that you try to spin the facts and not answer my questions, you sound like the latter. So I'm just going to ask this simply. Trump's former National Security Advisor, Michael Flynn, was convicted, correct? That's correct. Trump's longtime advisor, Roger Stone, was convicted, correct? Correct. In contrast to multiple Trump associates who were convicted, you brought two cases of jury trial based on this investigation and you lost both. And so I don't actually know what we're doing here because the author of the Durham report concedes that the FBI had enough information to investigate. And thank goodness the FBI did because multiple Trump associates who committed crimes were held accountable. And the best way to summarize what happened is Thank you to the brave men and women of the FBI for doing their job. Um, Congressman, what, what was your understanding of the purpose of today's hearing, Mr. Durham? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Chris, for your question. Let me first say, when Democrats control the House, we pass laws like the infrastructure law to help American families grow our economy. And when Republicans control, what do we get? We get stupid stuff like this dumb hearing on a Durham report, which concluded after wasting $6 million of taxpayers' money, that the FBI had a duty to investigate allegations of trump Russia collusion. And thank goodness the FBI did that because multiple Trump associates were convicted and held accountable for their crimes. One of the, the themes today was frustration from Republicans, right? Yeah. The, the, the Durham's investigation, his report, and the two cases he brought, which you referenced, both of which uh, ended in acquittals, quite notably, uh, didn't come up with more. Matt Gates tweeting Durham is part of the cover-up and then uh, telling Durham to his face he was like the Washington generals. Uh, take a look at this, this exchange. You didn't charge Andrew McCabe. You didn't convict the lion Democrats or the lion Russians. You didn't investigate Mifsud or the Mueller probe, even though, as we sit here today in black letter, that was your charge. Have you ever heard of the Washington Generals? Uh, the Washington Generals? Yes. Yeah. And, and they're the team that basically gets paid to show up and lose, right? <laughs> um, what do you take away from the frustration of folks like Gates and others with Durham and what Durham produced? Yeah. MAGA Republicans are trying to rewrite history and we cannot let them. The facts are very clear. The Department of Justice, through the Mueller report, found that the Russians interfered in our elections in 2016 in a sweeping and systematic fashion. A bipartisan U.S. Senate report in 2020 concluded the Russians interfered and it was designed to benefit Donald Trump. And then Paul Manafort, Trump's campaign chairman, admitted that he gave internal Trump campaign data to the Russians. Uh, that is called Russian collusion. We, that is definitely called Russian collusion. And that is what the, that is what the Mueller report said. What Barr did, that's why even as Barr is coming out against Trump right now, we have to remember that Barr was complicit in all that occurred. 
we spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join. 